welcome to Celebrity MasterChef Ireland. There is a little voice in the back of my mind saying, what are you doing? And it's not saying it that politely. About a year ago, this passion for cooking just came out of somewhere. I think people probably see me as somebody who stays in the background. In the past, I've been, you know, a wife, I'm a mother. I suppose this is my time to step forward and show people that, that I can cook um, and, and that, that I've got the confidence to do this. It looks amazing. That's what it is. It actually looks too perfect to eat. I can't believe when we watched Claire today that I could do that. So I'm, yeah, I'm really thrilled. It's stunning. Thank you. Four celebrity cooks have baked, boiled and battled their way to the semi-final. I got a semi-final. I can't believe that I got a semi-final. It's unbelievable. You know, we all came into this and, and everyone thought, oh, we'll get the first week, the second week. So to progress like that's just a really big buzz. I think I would have felt awful if I went last week. I did so badly, I was so disappointed in myself. But I'm, I'm proud of myself today. I was really looking forward to it, and it wasn't a disappointment. It was hard work. We were tired, we're all tired. But it was, it was a fantastic opportunity, and I've learned so much. I feel privileged to have been involved. And then we come around the corner, and there was Yvonne Keating looking beautiful. I was like, oh my god. Hello, girls. Hi. I'd like to welcome you here to the stunning Carton House. Elle has asked me to come here today to keep an eye on you all. To be a top model, you have to embrace your surroundings, show your versatility, and be brave to obtain a top photograph. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. I think that came through in her face. Yeah. The bottom line is she didn't deliver. Yvonne Keating is a former model, a columnist, and one of Ireland's best-known personalities. As a single parent with three children of her own, Yvonne is no stranger to the challenges of motherhood. The exact same thing in my house. I've tried to make it clear from a young age that they are different, that they're obviously they're all loved in the same way, but they're different. Sometimes when these things are put in a book and put on paper and people read them back, they understand the actual depth of their bond because it's definitely there. They all love each other. They just need the time and the focus to see that. So much. It's been a privilege and an honour to be involved. Um, they're such a lovely family. I may have learnt more than they did. It's MasterChef Ireland you have done or are doing. In the middle of. Mm -hmm. oh, so I can't give too much away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, well, two seasons have aired. But it's been fun and it's been a challenge and a journey. And Scary. what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So. <laughs> Well, please do come back again. That was very I nice. I would like to. I would really do you like know what? to. I wouldn't say this in public, but that has been my favourite dish so far this series. Thanks, Satan. Mm. I knew you were nice to me. Now it is National Bread Week, and we're celebrating all things bread. And Yvonne Connolly is here to cook her delicious layered bread and vegetable terrine. It's great to have you. I am delighted to be Lovely here. Lovely to be in the kitchen. Bit of glam. I, I'm here to cook, but actually the nice thing that's happened today is I've heard the Irish language being spoken <laughs> all across the studio, and it's fabulous. <laughs> Yes, I devised this dish myself. Now, it's very contain good. yourself. This, it's so sophisticated. I'm joking. It's very, very, very simple. simple. That's what we like. It is, of course, National Bread Week. Yes. So I devised this. It's on their website. It's on your website. That's right. And really, the idea behind it is, it's just doing something different with bread. Now, one thing that I didn't have time to do there, but is really important, is that you let the lamb rest for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, a lot of people don't like to let meat rest because it does such a good job of cooking and it's taken so long, they think it's going to go cold. It really won't if you're worried, wrap it in tin foil and it honestly stays warm for ages, but it's really important for it to re re um, relax and uh, you know, it just becomes tender. So a quesadilla is always going to have, it's always going to be flat, it's always going to be crispy, you're going to slice it. Mm -hmm. Your burrito, the difference with a burrito, say the difference between a fajita and a burrito, a burrito is going to have beans and rice in it. Mm -hmm. uh, your fajita is going to have chicken strips. So it's just little kind of changes like that. But the tortilla is the name that gets everyone. They're like, why is it tacos? Why is it tortillas? Because yes. there's so many different Mexican terms. I thought for a taco, you had to put it in oil. You, the, the, taco, tortilla. the taco, now not traditional Mexican, but okay. Tex-Mex, which is Texas Mexican. Yes. That's where they do the kind of nice crisp thing okay. that is nearly like a nacho. 
Well, how do you feel being on the couch with me, sister? Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah? I've been like grafting over there and thinking, someday. You're thinking those two will do absolutely <laughs> nothing over there. This is where the fun there. is, this is where the fun is. Yeah, this is where the pressure is. And there's no really. washing up as well. Yes. <laughs> Before we kick off with our guests tonight on the sofa, let's go over and check in with Derry and Dave. I do know that this is going to be a bestseller. How did you get a copy? My daughter, I have an in. Okay, my daughter, me Missy, who is 14, so your perfect reading yeah. market, your target market, uh, read the book in 17 hours. She will not mind me saying wow. that she is dyslexic. She has never finished a book in her life. And on holidays, she read it from start to finish. We fed her, we brought her food. She <laughs> crackers <laughs> under and the door. she absolutely loved I it. Love so that. 